what is going on guys and welcome in this video we're going to create a simple nav bar using html5 and css3 and you can see the only thing we're going to add is actually a transform property from css where we're going to be uh, transforming these list items and make them spin 360 degrees now let's fire up the text errors how do we create a simple nav bar now, the first thing we obviously would need to do is actually create a HTML skeleton for the navbar. And you can see that right now I have very basic HTML document that just has a couple of uh, basic tags over here. And the title could be, I don't know, simple navbar, right? Simple navbar. And we're going to be using, again, just HTML5 and CSS3 for creating this simple navbar. So over here, I'm just going to create a simple a unordered list so here i'm just going to say that this is going to be on our list however it's going to be sitting within a nav tag so over here like this so over here we're going to create a unordered list over here like this and we're going to have like i don't know let's say like four list items right so it's going to be a li over here and then, then there's going to be a link and the link href is going to have a hashtag and over here we're just going to say that this is going to be home and then we're going to say that we would want to select the line and just copy this line, let's say, like four times. And this is going to be a info. And this is going to be about. And this is going to be a, I don't know, survey, something like this. So now that we're done with this, let's actually go ahead and create a style tags within our body. Uh, I'm sorry, within our head tags so over here like this. And let's just create a simple uh, nav bar, right? Let's style the simple nav bar. So over here, I'm just going to say that this is going to be a style tags. And the reason for that, I don't want to create a external style sheet because I think it's just going to be a little bit more noticeable what we're doing. And the first thing what I would want to do is actually select all the elements and tell that uh, I would want all the elements to have margin zero and a padding zero right and the reason for that is just it's going to be easier for us to work if we don't have some preset paddings and margins now after that what we would want to do is actually style the unordered list which is the parent element for list items so over here we would use the unordered list selector and we the first thing we want to say is list style and list style type over here like this to be none because we want to get rid of these annoying little circles on left left hand side when we have a on our list list items right then we want to say that uh, line height let's say we're going to create some I don't know 60 pixels something like this and the actual height also we're going to set to 60 pixels and the way we're doing it right now we're pretty much setting these uh, list items to be exactly in the center of our on our list then we're going to say that we would want a background color Right, so background color, and let's say this is going to be a dark gray, something like this. And you can see the problem right now is that my list items are displayed over here as blocks, right? So I would need to somehow come up with a way so they're actually in line, right? However, before I do that, I'm just going to say over here, text align, this is going to be center. So all my list items are in the center. And now we can go and start styling actually list items. And again, the first thing what we would need to do is actually say display. And we're going to say that this is going to be display in line block. And now I can see how easy it is to actually make them from display block to display uh, in line block. And obviously, we would have to use the display property. And over here, we can just specifically say what we need the width. I'm going to say like 150 pixels. But you can see because my screen is so small at this point, you can see that don't, they don't line up, right? But as you make a bigger screen, they're actually all uh, lining up really well. So let's just make it a little bit easier. Let's make 100, and, 100 and pixels, right? So then they all are sitting here that in our live preview. So when we're working, we can actually see that they're still in line. And after that, what we want to do is actually start styling links over here. And we would want to say that uh, first property we would want to change is actually display and display block. And the reason why we want to change it to display block because we want to actually as we're hovering we just don't want to to have a hover only when we're hovering over the 
the text we want we would want to hover as we're hovering the whole link right even as, as i'm hovering left right and top bottom you can see that it's still working as a hover right and the reason for that is because it is display block and after that again we would want a text align or we would want text align center and over here we're going to say the text decoration none is to get rid of these underlines right text decoration and we're going to say none right so that's how we got rid of those uh, underlines and then we want to say color and we're going to say color chocolate something like this so now you can see that they now they got a color now the reason why i uh, put it over here text underline center so let's imagine that you have text uh, align over here let's say to the right right so i write right for the unordered list so now i can see how all they move to the right however if I would get rid of this text align center, you can see how they're all pushed all the way to the right because they're not aligned actually in the center. They're all aligned for the list items also to the right. So therefore we are over here writing text align and we say center and then they're nicely pushed back. Now, obviously if I have over here center, then it doesn't really make much sense to write over here center, but I'm just showing you what happens if we have different alignments for our parent element that it does matter how we're actually working with this uh, child element over here well in this case descend now one more thing that i would want to do is actually this uh, transform property but transform property i would want to use actually transition property first so over here i'm going to say transition right and transition property and here i'm going to say transform and transform is going to be one second and I'm just going to ease out, right? Ease in, out, right? Ease and over here in and out, right? So now we're pretty much done with list items. Now let's uh, work with the list items when we're hovering, right? So it's going to be list item. And here over here, we're just going to say that as we're hovering. So we're going to write a pseudo class hover. So now when we're going to be actually hovering over our uh, links then we're going to be changing the value so over here I'm going to write transform and I'm going to say rotate and this is going to be 360 degrees so now this is when we're actually as we're hovering you can see over here what's happening right that they're actually spinning 360 degrees now a couple of more things that we can add as we're hovering we can say that this is going to have a border and the border is going to be two pixels solid black over here like this and after that it's going to be border radius border radius border radius you can see that i'm struggling just to write a simple thing border radius is going to be five pixels so here we go now we have a nice border radius as we're actually hovering over and our list items are actually uh spinning right so you can see how easy it was actually to create a very basic uh, nav bar that, that has these little tiny uh, CSS properties.